Your brain needs support. And new Ollie Brainy Chews are a delightful way to take care of your cognitive health. Made with scientifically backed ingredients like Thai ginger, L-theanine, and caffeine. Brainy Chews support healthy brain function and help you find your focus. Stay chill or get energized. Be kind to your mind and get these nootropic chews at ollie.com. That's O-L-L-Y dot com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Welcome to Friday Follies right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Bat Free was originally released November 11th, 2020. Hello and welcome to Bells in the Bat Free. Well, we have an interesting show for you to... Yes, Brad, what is it? Have you ever seen the movie The Hustler? Oh, yes, the movie with Paul Newman. Uh Uh-huh. It's considered a classic. Well, some people may consider it a classic, but I had a few problems with it. Like what? First of all, there was something wrong with my TV. This movie... It was all gray. Well, yes, Brad, the movie was in black and white. Well, I didn't see a whole lot of black or white. I just saw a lot of gray. Well, that's the way it was meant to be. What other problems did you have with the movie? Well, the plot of the movie, such as it was, is that Fast Eddie, played by Paul Newman, was a pool shark, very good at pool, and he wanted to beat the biggest guy in pool. And that was Minnesota Fat, played by Jackie Gleason, who was a big guy. Yes, yes, he was. So what was your problem with this? Well, between the pool playing at the beginning and the pool playing at the ending, there's a lot of psychological drama, deep, meaningful moments, a look into the condition of man. You know, boring stuff, like two hours worth. Who needs it? I mean, I wore out my thumb fast-forwarding. So why are you telling me all this, Brad? Because I've improved the movie. I've rewritten it with a few slight tweaks so as to not get sued, plus the elimination of a whole lot of stuff in the middle, and I think it's a better story. So you have a new and improved script for the movie The Hustler. You betcha. And I suppose you want us to present it on this show. Of course, Mr. Bell. No. No? No. But but I'm not going to let you take over this show with some silly, self-serving, ridiculous... All right, all right, all right. I get the idea, Mr. Bell. But it's really sad, you know? Why? You were going to be the star of this version, and... I remember the first time I saw him. I thought I was pretty good at the game at this point. I was making a lot of dough on the side. Then I walked into this smoky game parlor. Come in, relax, and prevent forest fires. Ah, good old Smokey. And that's where I saw this kid... No, no, not that kind of kid. This young individual. And he knew how to get those balls where they needed to be. I watched the finesse in his wrist. How he always took his time and lined up his shots. The kid had confidence. That I could tell. But I thought maybe, just maybe, I could beat him in his own game. I tried to walk up to him, but I was stopped. Hold it right there, fella. Where do you think you're going? I just want to talk to the kid. Sure, go ahead. (laughs) No, not that kid. The young man over there playing the game. Oh, (laughs) you want to talk to Fast Eddie? Fast Eddie, huh? Is that because he's fast and loose with his style? No, it's because he's on a diet. He'll be Fast Eddie today and eating Eddie tomorrow. I see. Well, he sure looks good at this game. Good. (laughs) He's the best there is. I think I can beat him. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, Fast Eddie don't play for funsies. You got some cash? Yeah, yeah, I got some cash. I was thinking of picking up some comic books and candy bars, but I'll put my three dollars here on the table. Oh! You some kind of hustler, bub? Yeah, the best kind. The kind that wins. <laughs> we'll see about that. Hey, Fast Eddie! Yeah? I got you a challenge. Just a second. Let me finish this guy off first. And... <laughs> no, no, no. You beat me. Oh, I'm broke now. How am I going to get extra butter on my popcorn? If you can't afford to lose, you shouldn't play. Come out over here, Fast Eddie. 
Oh, a new challenger, eh? Fresh blood for me. <laughs> What's your name, fella? They call me Minnesota Frets. Minnesota Fax. No, no, Minnesota Frets. I go to the University of Minnesota and I'm in a fraternity. And you think you can beat me? I don't think so. I know so. And three dollars says it for me. All right, everybody, clear the table. We're about to have the World Championship Hungry Hungry Hippos game. Oh, yeah. That took me back to the memory of my very first Hungry Hungry Hippos game. Uh, excuse me, is this the Genius Let's Play Games Club? Why, well, yes, young man, it is. Come in, come in and join us, won't you? Oh, well, thank you, thank you. I I like to think of myself as a pretty smart person. Uh, what kind of games do you play here? Well, personally, I started out playing chess, but I got bored with that after a while. Then I played Scrabble in Mandarin Chinese, of course, and a few other games. But then I found the ultimate intellectual game. And that would be... Hungry, hungry hippos. And I must say, I have mastered the game. He certainly has. Oh, you betcha. It takes intelligence, concentration, a cool head, and a keen eye, and reflexes like nobody's business. Wow. Well, uh, could I try playing a game? With me? Yes, with you. Is that a problem? <laughs> if you don't mind being totally humiliated. Let's go. Set up the game. I've already got a game set up over here. You get on that side, I'll get on this side. Each of us will handle two hippos. I can do that. And whoever collects the most marbles wins, right? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. On your mark, get set. Go! Uh, I, uh, and the game's over. I win. How did you do that so quickly? I told you. I'm the most brilliant person here. And I am humbled. What is your name, brilliant sir? My name is Brad Montworth. Brad Montworth? Yeah, that's right. Brad, you're using your real name? It's my script. I can name anybody anything I want. All right, all right. Um, oh, master, will you please train me in the ways of the hippo? I will do that, my lad. But you must hearken well to what I say. Hearken? Hush. Mastering the hippo is more than just whacking the thingy on its butt as fast as you can. You want to watch the marble. Feel the movement, the ebb and flow as they fly around the playing field. You must calculate the very instant that a marble is within reach of your hippo's mouth. That's when you strike again and again, whacking the thingy on its butt as fast as you can. But didn't you just say... Hush! Prepare yourself, calfling, for you are about to embark on a journey of revelation. We're about to do a montage of me training, right? Start the montage music! I, I, I can't see all the balls at the same time. Don't trust your eyes. Trust your feelings. I'm exhausted. Exhaustion is in your mind. Right now, it's in my hands. I get the most marbles with your hippo. I've been doing this for hours, and I'm so hungry. Can I stop for a moment and have one of those french fries? Do or do not. There is no fry. But I see them right there. Those are mine. Hands off. We're hungry. Play hungry, hungry hippo. I'm collecting the marbles. I'm collecting the marbles. Yeah, just don't lose your marbles. I'm scoring! I'm scoring! I'm guessing that's something you don't say too often in your life. I think you may be ready, my son. My training is over? Are you telling me? Yes, when I gaze at you. I see a hippo hero standing there. Master, I am now ready to take on Fast Eddie. You think you're ready for Eddie? I'm ready for Eddie. Steady, steady, don't get heady. There's another scene here. What do you mean, another scene? In my script, we go on to the big finish. Well, I thought it might be a good idea to throw in the romantic part. Oh, you're talking about in the original Hustler movie where Fast Eddie met this woman and they had a tumultuous relationship, swinging from love to disdain, togetherness to separation, exemplifying a complicated adult relationship. Yeah, the boring stuff. 
Don't worry, I whittled it down to a nice little scene here. So uh, go on to the bus station where you will meet your girlfriend. All righty. Bus leaving at gate five for Anaheim, Azusa, and Kamanga. Hi, come here often? Yeah. Want to go to your place and smooch? Yeah. Well, here we are at your place. Go away. Okay. Well, it's the next day now. Hello again. Want to smooch? Yeah. You're a good smoocher. I love you. I love you, too. I don't love you. I saw that coming. I'll be by your side forever. And I by yours. I'm out of here. Toodles. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can get back to the action. Ladies and gentlemen, on the side of the table, the Ray Jennings, Fast Eddie. I'm off my diet. On the other side of the table, the Challenger. Minnesota Flats! Hi. Let's get ready to hippo! You know the rules, gentlemen. When the marbles are released, get your hippos to eat them. No body checking allowed. No spitting. I'm looking at you, Arnie. Hey! You must remain in your seat for the duration of the bout. Put your hands on the thingies on the hippos' butts and release the marbles. Okay, shiny boy, I'll show you how it's done. Hey, how would you do that? What, what, hey, what, what you got? Stop! Look how fast, Daddy, I'm taking you down. Your hippo is eating like grease lightning. You must have been trained by... Brad Mugworth. Okay, marbles, calm down, Papa. Ever since I was a young boy, I've made these hippos eat. Went from has been to Hasbro. I was the one to beat. But I ain't seen nothing like him. This guy is precocious. He's a hippo happy hero with a hip. Oh, punk. Yeah, Mike. Take that hand back. Ooh, look at all the bubbles I'm picking up. <laughs> He's a hippo wizard. The way he whacks that button. A hippo wizard. It's such a marble glutton. <laughs> Why do you think he does it? I don't know. I wasn't asking you. Fuck your nose with a rubber hose. He's got no life to speak of. Too much time on his hands. Hippo chow he reeks of smells worse than most his fans. Eats up every marble. He makes the others cuss. He's a hippo happy hero with a hip. Oh, my, oh, my. That's it. I quit. I'm done. I'm out of here. You've been enjoying Brad Mockworth's version of The Hustler. On Bells in the Bad Free, episode 260, copyright 2020 by John Bell Creative, LLC.